Welcome back to GQ Rules. I'm GQ style editor Adam Rappaport here with GQ creative director Jim Moore. And if I may say so, one of the most stylish I'm dudes in New York it. City. Ooh, say it, so dash. I'm saying it. Dao Yi Chow, designer of the label Public School. And Dao, we're talking how to make formal wear not so formal. Everything is pretty much traditional up top and then from the waist down. Uh, just wanted to, to make it a little different. Uh, just a black suit jacket that uh, isn't really a, a tux jacket. Yeah, it fits pretty damn well. Yeah, it's all about fit. You got a, a classic white shirt and, and a bow tie that you tied yourself. Uh, yeah, this is, that this I is a clip on. It's not a clip on. I love that it's not a skinny bow tie, too. Yeah, I like right. that it's a substantial bow tie. It looks so good. It's a little old school. Now you got a pair of black jeans. Yep. The jeans fit as well as the suit jacket. You know, these aren't $40 yeah. boot cut jeans. No, you no, 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 no. We got a cool studded belt. Oh, that looks great. Cool and then some fancy boy sneakers, some yeah. line fast sneakers. Spent all my allowance on these. I'm doing that's my nose. A lot of the things that he's wearing are things that, you know, most guys have. It's just a white shirt. It's not a tuxedo shirt, but it's the perfect white shirt. It's got a nice slim button placket, the pocket square. It's a very subtle look, but it's got your own style. You're really rocking it your way. Thank you. Don't be the guy going out and getting the matching cummerbund, bow tie, vest set. You don't need to do that. You can make a statement, but it can be a subtle statement. The shirt, the jacket, all that stuff should still fit great, still be quality, and it should make sense together. Uh, yeah. All good. right. Well, thank you for watching GQ Rules. I'm Adam Rappaport. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for another Essential Style Tip.